की अपील लोगों से मत कीजिए पीस की अपील पहले अपने आप से कीजिए पहले अपने आप से पूछिए कि आप कितने सिंसियर हैं पीस के बारे में बात करने की पीस के बारे में हम लोग बात जरूर करेंगे लेकिन पहले आपकी तरफ से जो वायलेंस है वो खत्म होनी चाहिए I'm here because uh, the occupying force that is India works in my name and works in brutalizing and killing people in Kashmir and killing people who do not wish to be a part of this occupying structure and I'm here in shame and in solidarity. I'm here because I'm totally horrified and I'm so disturbed and I, I want to register my protest as strongly as possible. We just don't, in, not in our name, please don't don't attack civilians, don't use the force, the kind of force that you are using indiscriminately with such violent intent, with just the desire to overpower uh, people and, uh, into submission and just just thinking that what, what you think is just right and in the name of this uh, ugly nationalism, I totally uh, uh, I abhor this kind of a thing and I, I really want to register my protest. Today we have gathered here to protest uh, against the unabated civilian killings that are happening in Kashmir. Uh, after the killing of Burhan Wani, uh, many students, many people are out on the streets, many youngsters are out on the streets and the police is indiscriminately firing at them. The CRPF and the police there are indiscriminately firing at, firing at them and the political class, the Indian government, the state government, the central government, they have no, they have absolutely no method to deal with this and are only uh, you know, responding with bullets, which is resulting in more and more civilian casualties and which, due to which the situation there is worsening. So, Delhi level organizations, many Delhi level organizations and individuals are here and we are here to register our protest and tomorrow there will be a protest in Kolkata as well. Saying whether he was a militant or not, but even militants have human rights. Like uh, every day, anywhere in Haryana, Jats were protesting violently, blocking the road, like destroying the railway track, raping women. Not even a lucky charge was used. Any protest in Kashmir is dealt with the bullet. Last time in case of a molestation of a girl, people protested. They were shot dead. This time people, unarmed people are gathering to mourn a death. You cannot dictate me whose death I should mourn. So the only solution is Kashmiri people must get right to self-determination. These innocent deaths, the people responsible for these innocent deaths should be charged under Indian Penal Code. You are saying Kashmir is integral part, but you are not treating Kashmiris as your countrymen. Different people will be opposing the role of Indian state in Kashmir depending upon their own ideology. If one opposes you know, what India is doing in Kashmir, that doesn't necessarily mean that one has to be with other oppositional you know, parties, be it Hizbul, be it other groups, Lashkar, Toyba, or whatever. You know, I, as citizen, can still register my protests and not be associated with them. Armed resistance has always been a mode in which uh, anti-colonial struggles happen and there are non-violent ways in which Kashmiris are resisting Indian occupation, there are violent ways in which Kashmiris are resisting Indian occupation and it is not for us to pick and choose and say oh we are going to do a silent protest, we are going to hold hands and stuff. But also more importantly as part of a country that is continuing to commit war crimes in the valley, we have no standing to say these things. to talk. 
The solution is to recognize people's desires. It's like saying that, you know, a woman says that I want divorce and you say you can't have it because you are married. This is a great structure, you know. Marriage is a great structure. Patriarchy is beautiful. You cannot leave. What absurdity. Now, if we put it in this kind of micro uh, thing, I mean, all women will say how absurd. Because yes, no, the, the right to take a decision about, you know, what your desires are, what you aspire to as, as people. How can you think that it's illegitimate? Because you have decided that, you know, India, uh, Kashmir is an integral part of India. It's like the biggest slogan, biggest joke. On what grounds? Not a single person in Kashmir is going to say that and you are saying that it's an... It's, isn't it absurd? It's become fantasy now, you know, <laughs> of the state. <laughs> so yeah, let's just understand it. Uh, you know, this is a fantasy of the state now. It's not real.